our plan differs uh, in a number of respects. Uh, one in particular is that it's been in the workings for about four months, uh, or five months, longer than anyone else's uh, plans that we know of. In addition, uh, the main part about it is that it takes both blacks and browns into consideration. In District A, the minorities would make up approximately 60.6% .6 of the population. In District B, minorities would comprise 57.3% of the district's population. Well, therefore, we have uh, a plan which essentially is minority-oriented in uh, two districts as opposed to other plans which we have seen, which would have one primarily black district uh, with a 70 to 80 percent population you know, of blacks in a district and uh, the Mexican-American population being divided into about three or four separate districts. What about Republicans now under your plan? Well, under our plan, Republicans would have a, a good chance of electing representatives in approximately five districts. What chance do you think your plan has for acceptance? Well, uh, now, right this minute, not, not the best of chances because uh, uh, the redistricting committee, which is sitting in Austin now, they met last Tuesday, and Carlos and James Gaskin and I went down, and we'll go down again tomorrow. They meet tomorrow morning. Uh, they have a plan already together. That's the Schieffer plan that uh, not too many people have seen. And uh, I think, as a matter of fact, we've been calling it the super secret Schieffer shaft plan, which, is, <laughs> uh, which apparently they're going to try and get through the legislature without uh, without getting any input from the minority, from the minority community, from the Republicans, from anybody. And Penny has said that he has the support of seven of the Tarrant County legislators in this case. If they do adopt a plan such as the Schieffer plan, uh, we do intend to file suit in the courts with uh, our plan 